Right, welcome here, Punch Out Boxing. Delighted to be with Kala. Even though uh, me trying to copy you and your deadlifting, I strained my neck and now I can't turn my head. Yeah, the deadlift's a bit, you know, got to be a bit careful with him. Um, keep the form, you know, keep that back straight. Go straight through the glutes, drive, that's what I would say. Yeah. I think I might be more of a heavy squats man. But, uh, but, uh, anyway, um, talking of heavy, um, great fight for Charlie Edwards. Uh, come back. Come back. Oh, sorry. Next yeah. Chapter. Next chapter. Next yeah, chapter. absolutely. No. Looking forward to it. Listen, boxing, you know, you always look as a promoter for great boxers. Charlie Edwards ticks that box, easy people. But he's a great character as well. You want these sort of characters, you know. Live on Channel 5 tomorrow night, a couple of million viewers. Fantastic for the sport. But also, what a storyline we could be witnessing here. We've had loads of bangers on Channel 5 in recent times. But the bantamweights, wasn't that long ago we did a World Boxing Super Series at bantamweight. Every fight, I mean every fight was a cracker. And in this weight, you, there's such a, you don't get an easy day's work. Uh, he's got a former European champion tomorrow night from France. He's not here to make up numbers, he wants that belt. The winner gets that position with the WBC, onto a world title, lovely jubbly. What more can you ask? Friday night, from the East End. Live on Channel 5 and on the zone around the world. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, terrestrial TV, the best for getting these youngsters that, that you've got on the, on the card. Youngsters, it's, it's just for, as an advert for the sport to be on terrestrial TV. And we've been fortunate as a, as a business to have had, done that in a lot of other countries. I'm very privileged to have that position in the UK right now. It's, it's, this is where you get the numbers. This is where a Tyson Fury came from. This is where a Chris Eubank Jr. came from. This is where a lot of other than you're running that name now, but there are lots of others. George Rudge, George Rudge as well. Um, Nask is that, I get those. I get, so you can go back and look at that sport, but ultimately it's such a vital part of boxing it is to have that terrestrial TV outlet, and that's so important for the sport. Yeah, uh, hope they make uh, Charlie a uh, household name. Yeah, I mean, look, he's, again, you won't become a household name because you're a good boxer. It just, sorry, it doesn't happen that way. It doesn't work that way. I'm not going to make any examples now, but there's a couple of fighters in the UK who've won everything, but no one knows them, right? But there's others who've won absolute bugger all, and everyone knows them, right? Um, you know, Bruno, in, when I was growing up, Bruno was a good fighter, cracking personality, who went on to become a superstar. Yes, he was heavyweight champion of the world, Yes, you also got beaten by Mike Tyson quite, quite convincingly a couple of times. But at the same time, he was that character. And you want characters, you know. And Charlie is walked up here today. What's going on for Charlie? You know, gleaming, like, you know, talking, the talk. But yet, you know, the card ignores the fact that they're brothers and sons. And Sonny's one of the funniest guys I've ever met in the boxing as well. one of my talented as well. They're just got this amazing aura about. And the great thing is, that band from my, you've got fantastic fight to make. Do you think, um, get through this, uh, you're going to look to go straight in, into the world scene? Or it's quite surprising, quite a few good uh, domestic. Quite a former European champion. And it's the WBC silver belt, which is a, virtually acts as an eliminator. So this, this, is, this is a springboard there. You can't take a guy who's been at that level, world champion level, and then, you know, sort of, we invent the curve again. No, no. We, say, we have to go straight, this propels us straight up, but we have to get through it. And, and believe me, at <laughs> weight, it's very difficult to find, like, oh, we'll just give you an easy touch and you know, you'll be back. No, it doesn't work that way at band weight. Another weight class is too bad to tell. Yeah. All right, let's see how it goes. Um, just, just quickly, uh, some of the other fighters on your roster. Um, 154, that division is all over the place. Rumours abound. Josh Kelly, Crawford. Yeah, Josh, Josh is in a fantastic position. Um, a couple of good good performances last year. Got something in the pipeline that will be out in the next seven to ten days. Uh, great fight in the UK, but at the same time, we've got that world position, and that's coming. And you know all that news about Terence Crawford last week. It wasn't us who was putting that out there. He's having an Easter break, and uh, he was out there. And he was out there because he's number one in the world. You know, so. Take away the big boys, interesting scene. 
we know it's a great scene at the moment. And Josh has definitely got a massive part to play in the future. Can't wait. Just lastly, uh, Harry Scarf. Uh, oh, glad glad you, you picked him up. One of those uh, unloved uh, but brilliant fighters. Uh, yeah, brilliant fighter. Any uh, news on the final very limbo? Close. Very close. Looking like uh, May. More probably in the next seven days. But May. Looking at May. And a uh, big, big fight. Such a talented guy. Yeah. Brutal. Horrible Alex, that name Only man who's running towards Boots Ennis, so uh, yeah. he, he must be horrible. He's running fast. Better get, he's better get his running boots on Boots. Kala, thank you for your time. Um, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow night.